Gotta go fast with this week's EGS free offerings and Fortnite summer content is here. All that and more, my name's Ethos and these are your top five stories for this week's Free to Play Weekly. Coming in at number five, this week's Epic Game Store freebies is all about speed, fast cars, and fast hedgehogs. Between now and next Thursday, players can grab Aquarius' Horizon Chase Turbo or Lab 42 and Sega's Sonic Mania, or both, for free. Now, this isn't a huge savings deal, but each game does cost about $20 normally, but hey, $20 is easily something that you can use somewhere else. Sonic Mania is a new adventure style that holds the old 2D action platformer classic Sonic style at 60 FPS, and Horizon Chase Turbo is a racing game inspired by classic 80s and 90s racing games like Outrun and Outrat, but like Outrun and Rush. Coming in at number 4, the, the Battle for Berlin is now unenlisted as the game's third campaign has shifted from a paid closed beta experience to now a free open beta for everyone. The campaign features several iconic locations from the latter days of the war and arrives alongside a new season for Dark Flow Software and Gaijin Entertainment's World War II shooter. The campaign has been expanded from its closed beta days, offering 11 new levels of advancements for squads which add flamethrowers and new automatic weapon fighter planes, some of which can be viewed from the update logs from earlier this week. The battle pass for the brand new season has also been changed from the previous weapon with new types of orders, new weapons, unique soldiers, and vehicles being added to the pool of silver orders and in-game gold that was present in the first season's pass. Coming in story number three, Bungie is making it easier to spend money in Destiny 2. On July the 1st, the Bungie store beta will roll out, necessitating a password change for those with existing store accounts. The new store will let players sign in with their Bungie.net accounts, which Bungie says will make viewing, browsing, and purchasing Bungie rewards an improved and more streamlined experience. The transition means Bungie reward codes for Vault of Glass art prints, Descendant Seal, and Splintered Seal will no longer be valid after the first. If you're holding on to one of those, make sure you redeem it by the end of the month. Otherwise, you'll need to use a Bungie store account link to the Bungie.net account that has completed the appropriate triumphs, which sounds a little bit like a hassle. Also mentioned last week at this week's Bungie blog was the bunch of old legendary Destiny 2 weapons are coming back, a total of 12 of them on the moon and Dreaming City. They come from the Forsaken and Shadowkeep expansions and have new perks, so even if you acquired them in the past, you'll have a chance at some new options. The weapons re-arrive in the update coming on July the 6th. And coming in at number two, things were already a bit weird with Fortnite with all the alien stuff going down, so why not embrace it for the summer rollout? Fortnite is, and now summer is, a big welcoming party for the little green guys. Beginning today and running through July the 5th, players will be able to celebrate their new alien friends while taking part in creative LTNs, earning sweet new rewards and wearing their coolest summer outfits. This is all just in time too because the additions have made the alien fleet in the form of abductors, which may or may not abduct players and take them to the mothership. Also players may want to watch out for alien parasites that like to attach themselves to players' heads and suck away their HP. As for the event itself, four popular LTMs are all making their return. During this LTM, players will be able to complete quests needed to unlock summer-themed rewards like the Cloud Llama Board Glider. More rewards are also available for completing cosmic summer-specific quests, and of course, there are plenty of summer outfits both old and new. And finally, coming in at number one, your biggest story of the week. The first act of Valorant's Episode 3 is now live, and that means the brand new agent that we talked about last week is now ready for action. KO is a machine of war built for a single purpose, neutralizing radiance, and its abilities serve to suppress and deal area damage to anyone unlucky enough to get caught in their wake. There's naturally a new battle pass arriving in this brand new season, offering loot like the Jigsaw Ghost and the key to the Ancient Mysteries gun buddy. The rank rating for competitive play has also been updated as the season refreshes. If you've been playing Valorant for a long time in any mode and you want to see your progress reflected with brand new fancy frames around your account level, then you're in luck. Now you earn account points by playing and winning, and those translate into account level at the rate of 5,000 AP per level. Every 20 levels, you'll get a brand new border for your level as it appears at your end of match player card. All the matches you played in the prior to the release of episode 3 do in fact count, so if you're a veteran player, you won't be starting from scratch. To learn more about all this regarding Valorant episode 3, you can check out everything on the Valorant website. And that moves us to the question of the week. With Valorant episode 3 live and KO now out in the wild, let me know in the comment section below what do you think about KO and the new patch with the new adjustments and nerfs? Do you like the current state of Valorant or not really at all? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And these are your top five stories for this week's Free to Play Weekly. Don't forget to check out MMOBomb.com for giveaways and the latest news. My name's Ethos, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, everyone.